Next, we'll choose test cases for the isPalindrome function. This function takes a string and returns a Boolean. Because the function returns a Boolean, we need to, at least two test cases, one that causes the function to return true and another that causes it to return false. But it turns out that we need quite a few more than two. Once again, we need to choose different values for the string argument that represent different categories of strings. The categories are going to be a bit different for this problem. For the length, we'll still consider lengths of 0, 1, and longer. In addition, when we developed our algorithms for isPalindrome, we found that whether the length was even or odd impacted our program. So we'll consider even and odd lengths as well. Here are the lengths that we'll consider. We're going to consider strings of length 0 and strings of length 1. Both of these are considered palindromes because they're read the same from front to back as from back to front. Strings of length 2 are interesting because that is the length of the smallest possible non-empty even length palindrome and of the smallest possible non-palindrome. Strings of length 3 are also interesting because that is the smallest possible multiple character odd length palindrome. We'll also use a string of length 6 to represent longer strings of even length and a string of length 7 to represent longer strings that have odd lengths. Now let's pick the actual strings to use. We'll use the empty string and the string with lowercase a to represent the strings of length 0 and those of length 1, and both of those are palindromes. For strings of length 2, we'll consider one that's a palindrome and one that's not. Next, we'll consider strings of length 3. Again, we will use a string that is a palindrome, and this is the shortest multiple character string that is a palindrome. We'll use ABA, and then we'll use ABC as a three character string that is a non palindrome. Next, it's time to pick longer strings with even lengths. We'll use Redder to represent longer even length strings that are palindromes, and Renter to represent those that are not. And last but not least, we need to pick longer odd length strings, one that is a palindrome and one that is not. Here are some general tips for choosing test cases. We should consider size, dichotomies, boundaries, and order. There is overlap between these different considerations, so the test cases you develop are not necessarily going to fit into just one of these categories. Let's consider size. For collections, such as strings, lists, tuples, and dictionaries, test with the empty collection, a collection with one item, the smallest interesting case, and a collection with several items. Consider dichotomies. For example, vowels and non-vowels, even and odd, positive and negative, empty and full, and so on. Also consider boundaries. If the function behaves differently for values near a particular threshold, test at that threshold. Also consider order. If a function behaves differently when the values are in different orders, identify and test each of those orders. 